We're out here in central West Texas uh, doing a hunt on some old farm and ranch property. This home behind us probably dates back maybe 1870s, 1880s. It's been taken down by the wind and storms over the years, but you can still see some of the rock structure standing. You can see where some of the stones were hand chipped making the chimney back there. I'm out with uh, Vance Gwynn and Jerry Eckhart, and we're gonna do some searching around this old house today and see if we can find some old relics or with some luck, maybe some old coins. But the way out here was uh, very remote even in those days. According to Jerry, there would have been nothing more than just a little wagon trail coming up to it. Uh, no major roads getting back to this house. But it's uh, kind of out here in the, the thicket, sitting up on a hilltop with some natural wind around. So uh, with any luck, again, we'll try to find some old relics out here. I don't know for sure what this is. It's metal that has been coated or painted, but it has a very interesting shield shape to it, which tells me that it's not the usual piece of, bra piece of trash. And the bottom portion of it is missing, but uh, these are the type of things that you can find around old home homesteads. Uh, some of them are readily identifiable. All of them are interesting. And usually when you find something like that, it tells you there's more to be found. I got a real good reading here, it's right at 74. It was very consistent using that iron audio, checked it out. Sounded good, so uh Oh cool. Looks like an old button. Big round button. Dirt filled in on the back, you can see the clasps. It's got three clasps on the back there. Where it would have attached, I guess. And there's the front of it. I guess it's uh, just an old brass round button. Looked like it's a pretty old one if I had to guess. That's nice. I like finding old buttons like that. Just dug this piece. It looks like some kind of rivet. Maybe part of a button. If you turn it over on the back side, there's where it would have clasped through some clothes. And you can see the double layer there. It's probably a little more modern from the 1900s. But uh, give it a nice clean signal. There's iron right here. Yeah. But over here, that thing's jumping between the iron, big iron there. That's 79.80 there. Yeah, that's fine. Go back over here. There's the high reading, but there's iron all around it. Whatever it is, it's right in here. Not that deep, just come back several inches right, right there and take out a big plug. I know on the other side of there, you definitely have some iron. It's a rivet. Yeah, it's uh, like a military button rivet. Yeah. That's good. We're getting into some buttons and stuff over here. I'm intrigued, but as I pass by it, I get that snap of iron. I think it's going to be a large piece of iron. See that cactus over here that's blooming? Uh-uh. They bloom about every 30 years, some of them. Huh. Well, I need a pick to get through some of this 
enough iron. I'm gonna have to let that one go. I don't have the right instrument to dig down through that rock. Got a mode number, a serial number, Brunswick, and it's stamped. Let's go back and rinse that off and see what that is. Huh. Hitting 78 right here. When I come back away from it, I get a little bit of a grunt over here of some iron. And then there's iron sound, maybe. Ha. Roll on over, baby. I know you're in there. <laughs> I got a couple signals. A couple are definitely iron, but then there's one that keeps reading higher, right in the midst of it. It's a big old. Looks like a nail, but it's got a star on it. It's got a Texas star on it. That's interesting. Let me scan that real quick and see if that's what was reading high. Yeah, 71, 72. Interesting. Definitely some iron around it though. Well, there's definitely some old garbage around here and you know pieces of buttons we found some iron in this area too be worth coming back and scouting around here real slowly A lot of rock on the ground makes digging tough. Big piece of iron. Call it 80. I don't know what this is. It's like the top to something that's crushed. But it's real high up. It reads 80. I have to ask Jerry what he thinks that might be. A lot of sounds of iron as you go on through here, so you can tell this is part of the old house site. 
a lot of trash along here. We'll find some rattlesnakes over here if I'm not careful. <laughs> Big ol' iron. I knew it had an iron sound, but it was real strong. So, just wanted to see what that was. Good thing about this though is that iron audio you can get in here and all this trash and potentially pick out a good target in the middle of it that's all iron